Mado. Yes. <clears throat> he was a character. You you spent and a half. And a half. <laughs> yes. How how would you describe him? Uh, you know one thing. Uh, first of all, Paul is to the family mm. and Kenyans at large. He was a remarkable man. Anyway, uh, let me put it this way: Kibaki was easy to draw. You know, we go for uh, facial features and other uh, body attributes. You know, uh, one can have a pot belly or whatever. So in our business, there are people who are very difficult to uh, caricature. They give us problems as it is. But uh, the late president was a blessing to cartoonists. Mm. And not only his looks, because uh, also the way he presented himself, mm. how he spoke. Um, uh, and again, he had humor. Mm. So we were at home. You know, after some quite uh, many years of uh, dry run, you know, <laughs> so, so to speak. Yeah. So he, he, was, he was interesting. Yeah. He was uh, somebody that we could capture very well. Talk to me about this, the transition, right? So there was a period where uh, obviously the president was the big man and, and it was almost, you know, have to look at your back if mm -hmm. you have to even mention the name of the president. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, you, you worked in that period. Yes. How was it like and <clears throat> did anything change? What was the transition like between that 2002 to, you know, Kanu and the regime ending and President Moi taking, you know, uh, okay. leaving office? How was it? I think Kanu was the most difficult moment for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been told that you're almost being careless. You know, some of our mem members will say that we're embarrassing them, even as ridiculous. But surprisingly, and I remember that time we were we just started in this particular station in Nation, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, we started uh, doing the make the make believe comedy. And I remember, and I think you remember by then, the then see, you know, the, 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 the special branch guys came here and mm -hmm. asked for those tape because they didn't know what this was, what this was all about. Mm -hmm. Now, apparently, there are three people who, out of respect, I would mention them, but they were top within the Kanu uh, regime then who are going to report us to the president. There are three small boys who are playing around with you. <laughs> and even in the papers it was written, those three small boys should watch themselves out if anything happens to them to be done. Mm -hmm. So by then, with the nation media, remember that you people engaged uh, state house at that particular level. And then when you get the, the tapes, the beauty, surprisingly, uh, the late president, Daniel Toritichara Moy, when he first saw himself dancing, it was the opposite. He started laughing. <laughs> He said, oh, every day at the end, oh, not. So and from then on, he started now, because by then, nation was not going, was, was, was not getting out of Nairobi in terms of a signal. Mm -hmm. So by then, I started requesting for the shows to, to, to be recorded. So that was um, the kind of time. I think the people uh, uh, behind Moi were worse, and they were really going for us. We've been arrested before at Tasker 7s, you know. Yes, that was <laughs> we, had a lot, we had a lot of uh, damage and everything, but we kept pushing on. What's the difference between then and, and, the, and the late Moi Kibaki? Moi Kibaki, he didn't give a damn what you guys are doing. I think Mwai Kibaki was more democratic, you know. Many people really try to tell him, you know, what's happening. And, and from what we were hearing from friends close to Setas, I was like, ah, watch out now. He was your man, you know. Mm -hmm. I even met him twice, you know, as a, as a professional. And he couldn't, and he decided either he didn't recognize me or refused to recognize me. And we just mm -hmm. did the work together with him, whatever work we had doing with him at that time. Yeah, yeah. His, his, his other people knew. Mm -hmm. But him, he was like, ah, it's okay. Maybe there were a bit of family issues, uh, issues there at the time of, uh, of uh, the, the former police commissioner, uh, uh, Brigadier General oh, Sandy, yes. who some very excited uh, psycho fans tried to get us arrested when he did the Kibaki Lucy skit at uh, wherever. So I remember we disappeared for three days, actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> before we were told that life is good. Yes. But Kibaki, as a person, democracy, he was, do whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. And that was the biggest difference between um, the psychopaths of Tibak and the psychopaths of Moi, let me yes. put it that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mado. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Same, how is it with you? Like yes, sir. Uh, Tony is very right about uh, Mze Moi. Mm -hmm. Mze Moi also had his humor. He was, a, he was also humorous. But one thing about him is that he did not want to be seen as being humorous in public. So he used to kind of hide it, you know. Yeah. He, he wanted mm -hmm. that straight face. Then again, okay, um, I represent what we call the second generation um, of uh, satirists in this country. Right. Yeah, let's not go back so much into history. Um, I, I saw them grow up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're that generation. Yes, yeah. Both oh, yes. Exactly so. Yes. He's so, our grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly Saturday. so. So, um, obviously, uh, needless to say, things were very tough uh, in the 80s for us. You would, you would not imagine uh, uh, dealing with the president. That was out. And even if you did, it, not, it, was, it wasn't going to go past the editor mm -hmm. uh, and so on. Anyway, but towards uh, uh, the sunset years of his uh, uh, presidency, things started changing. You can even see what's going on uh, with, uh, with President Uhuru right now. In your last couple of years, uh, people kind of, you know, uh, 
let go. Uh, yes, exactly. <coughs> so that began happening with uh, with Mzee Moin, and that's mm. how ridiculous, actually uh, called ridiculous. Yes, mm. you can see.